Let's create fan blade with the help of some 3D or end surface features. Okay, so we don't have drawing. Let's start to create. I'm going to draw a circle on top plane. So select activate circle sketch and here choose let's say top plane activate circle. Draw a circle start from origin point and place somewhere here. Right click select and exit from sketch feature uh, exit from circle feature. 40 millimeter now exit and go to feature and apply extruded boss base because I want to add material to this structure this sketch now let's say 30 millimeter direction you can reverse isometric view okay now again let me add chamfer at both corner so first option chamfer type angle distance I am going to choose here choose edges so either choose two edges or select simply one face it looks like this but here change 3 45 see the arrow should be inside if arrow outside you can simply choose flip direction but let's keep arrow inside okay look now for fan blade we need to create two sketch First, I am going to create a plane. Activate right plane. Plane. See reference plane, right plane and 80 millimeter away. Let me create this plane. Okay. Now, first create one sketch on right plane, then second on plane one. The first one, right plane. A sketch. Draw a center line. exit again draw a line midline make sure these line going to pass through midpoint of this midpoint so select first midpoint see i selected midpoint of this line hold shift key select center line and make relation midpoint angle 30 degree and make sure this should be uh, Keep the length out up to outside so that it makes our job easy. Exit. Okay. Now select plane one. A sketch. Again, let me draw this sketch. So click and convert previous sketch. Again, select construction line. Let me draw one more line. Again, find out the midpoint. Just keep cursor, and you will find the midpoint of this line. Hold shift key, select center line and apply constraint, make a midpoint. Now the angle between this line from center line 60 degree. Okay, exit. See, let me hide this plane. Now go to surface, activate lifted surface. Now in lifted surface, you can select two profile or two line so I'm going to select these two line one two now see how this is going to penetrate make sure both should be outside say okay now this is surface okay top plane sketch now here I'm going to draw a blade shape with the help of uh, spline feature uh, I, I don't have any dimension so roughly I am going to create it uh, does not do. connect with this okay you can apply dimensions but I don't have any dimensions for this so I'm not going to apply any dimensions. You can add ex extrude this so that it looks more realistic or more practical shape. drag somewhere 
ओके नाउ एग्जिट अप्लाय हियर ट्रीम सरफेस नाउ गो टू स्टैंडर्ड स्केच सिलेक्टेड कीप सिलेक्शन सो इफ यू मूव कर्सर इन साइड स्केच आउटसाइड स्केच सी हाउ द सर्फेस आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट हियर वी सिलेक्टेड कीप सिलेक्शन से सिलेक्ट इन साइड नाउ दिस इज वॉट वी नीड यू कैन एडजस्ट दिस स्केच आफ्टर दिस कीप सर्फेस स्प्लिट ऑप्शन नेचुरल ओके लुक now apply thickness select this one apply thickness 1 mm change direction back side okay let's keep upside now here if we keep merge result both body going to merge and become one body okay now it's become one body now i want to make something like fan should be okay now perfect now let's make multiple number of pattern to this blade activate circular pattern now here feature let me select directly this one now direction any edge a circular edge face or axis center axis so let's say this circular edge six number of blade 360 equal spacing okay look we created okay don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching